it wasn't anything that I really planned, it just happened. So I was already a skier and I had to start ramping up my training and I just thought it was the best to be out on the water in the summer. It's fabulous. So I just started doing and they said, oh, you want to go in a race? And I went, sure. So I went in a race and that was it. When I started paddling, I had no idea that it was going to take me anywhere until I'd been doing it for a while and I went, I really like this and I'm really good at it and I really like the people. So. It just all kind of fell into place. One of the things my parents always said that was that entertainment was something you watched and sports was something you did. My mother was a phys ed teacher and uh, my father was uh, very involved in athletics. My dad said, well, you know, Sue, if you wanted to, you could go to the Olympics. You just have to be prepared to work hard and, and, uh, and, and go for it. But I did it just for a completely different reason. It was because there were cute boys. Competing against Sue Holloway was nothing short of intimidating. She was fast. She was just a really good athlete. She dominated our sport of women's kayak for a lot of years. Sue was the, an incredible athlete. And I guess the thing that uh, inspired me most, uh, having you know, grown up with her, is just her focus on being the best. Without question, Sue was one to um, push the envelope, try new things, and in that way, as her partner, you ended up pushing yourself to be better as well. This week, Canada joined a growing list of countries not taking part in the Olympic Games this summer in Moscow. 1980s boycott was awful in so many ways, and Sue pointed to be the flag bearer was such an honor and then not to be able to go. The day that the Prime Minister made the announcement, I really was caught. It blindsided me and I, I literally collapsed on the floor. I was so devastated that it had, I knew it was real. To be on top of your game and not to be able to go and compete, it had to be traumatic. And to think that she hung on for four more years after that to go on to Los Angeles and compete, it just shows the drive and determination. I can't think of two more deserving award winners than Sue Holloway and Alexandra Barre to win the first ever Olympic medal in women's canoeing and kayaking competition. Standing on the podium was an incredible experience. It was everything that I had imagined it would be. That day, I took a day off of work. I put on my racing jersey from the 76 games. I had a Canada flag in my hands. And I was cheering them from my, from my seat. It wasn't that she was focused on being first, but just focused on doing her best. And that's why she achieved these things. So they were sort of a, an outcome of her attitude and her, uh, her perseverance knowing what it took in the 70s to become an elite level female athlete in this country. Sue did that in two sports, not, not one sport, in two sports in the same year. I'm incredibly proud of uh, Sue and I think that uh, I, I can't imagine uh, anybody who uh, could have a, a better sister. I was proud to do things that no Canadian woman had done before, so to kind of lead the way and change what was perceived as possible. I certainly feel very, very fulfilled and, and satisfied that I've, I've helped to make things better.